All right, guys, and we are here today with, in the bottom right-hand corner, as our red, red Zerg under the ID Gom Sujang, we have Hero. And in the top right-hand corner, as our orange Terran, we have Organ, otherwise known as Piano, who is probably the ultimate kamikaze Terran in the scene. This guy is nuts. He loves to play for a long time off two bases. Drop ships everywhere. He'll run in. He's the kind of guy that will be dark swarms up. There'll be like three dark swarms in the natural. There'll be like four lurkers, and they'll be like, "No, I'm just gonna run my marines by, and just go for it." Just tends to be super yolo play, very harass oriented, uh, very nice multitasking. But I guess you could call his play a little bit unstable sometimes. When it works out, it's just insane, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. When it doesn't work out, though, it's kind of like, oh, well, that was really dumb. I don't know why he tried to run in there, and not too surprising from Piano here. We're just going to open up this game with a forward eight racks, and Hero headed the right direction. Now, as long as he sees this with his Overlord, it'll be fine, but if his Overlord floats out over to here and doesn't see this, he's going to lose this Overlord and be dealing with an eight racks bunker rush, which is going to be very intimidating, and it goes without saying that... Um, this is intended to be a bunker rush. Terran is not going to just make a random forward eight racks. So we see here going out, it is going to be a 12 hatch, so that's the worst possible combination for dealing with this as well. If it's over pool, you have lings out in time. You've got six lings, and you can catch one or two marines coming down. It's not a big deal. But with 12 hatch, it will be a little bit of a difficult hold here for Hero. And of course, our big concern is this Overlord, and we can see he's going to, it's going to take him a while to find it. It's just going to be needing to wait for the Overlord before he even sees what is happening. And we've got first, well, not first marine, but we've got two SCVs going out now to look for the base. And we're just going to watch this overlord here, if I can get my clicking right. And let's see what hero sees. In fact, he has delayed the pool to 13, as is common these days. It's a much better 12 hatch, except for the slightly increased risk of bunker rush. Now, he sees the SCV. This overlord is in deep trouble. He seems to sense that something is up, though, and has turned the overlord around, so it looks like Piano is not going to find that guy. But he is rallying Marines in the center. SCV just scouting around right now, not raising any immediate imminent alarm bells for Hero, but we can see it's going to raise some alarm bells. There's an overlord here that needs to get out. A bunker has started out of range. We've got two Marines here. Will he target the overlord pickoff and allow the building SCV to die? Probably not. Just going to fight the drones here. As nice as an overlord kill would be, that would allow the drones to defend very easily. This bunker is already quite far along to completion, but these Marines are in a bit of an awkward spot. Hero right now is going to try to micro down the SCVs, but really what he needs to do is get the Marines, and the Marines do get trapped in a corner, so that will allow Hero to kill them, but it also means not a lot of drones can attack at once, so Piano should have, at the very least, get two or three drone kills out of this. Now, a little bit of economy loss from Piano here to make the eight racks. Hero going for a good surround. Can't quite get it. Looks like Hero's going to hold the bunker rush, but how many drones are going to be lost in the process? He's lost three, I believe, already. Now, this Marine is going to get assassinated here. Doing the chase picks that off, so threat of bunker rush ended. We will see that canceled, but tremendous economic damage here to Hero. I mean, we lost four drones. We can see supplies just 14 for Hero. We lost four drones and obviously a ton of of lost mining time and pro pulls. Now, the upside to this, of course, is that 8RAX is a little bit slow on economy and that Piano has not been able to even start the CC. In fact, he's had to make a bunker first to deal with potential lings from Hero. And Hero has respond to responded to this in a rather cute way. He knows Piano is not going to bunker rush. So he basically went almost all drones, just made a pair of lings here, and then is going to wait a little bit longer to get those other pairs. Oh, and uh, Organ almost running that SCV, but being a pro player, quickly reacts to that and does adjust the course of that SCV. And now we'll see where he wants to take the build from here. So Hero's got his hatch down. He's got his gas up. What the heck just happened there? Something weird happened with my computer. Uh, he's going to grab gas, and we're going to go... What? Computer, stop it. I don't know what just happened. That was very odd. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that didn't uh, mess up the cast too much or do anything weird. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> We're going to have a third hatch going down here, so it's kind of two and a half hatch play uh, with the faster gas here. Gas taken before the hatchery here, so here is going to move into pretty swift tech. Command center coming up. We can see the eBay down before the gas, so this does look like a plus one, five racks or four racks type build, a pressure build on the third base of Zerg here. And here is going to come in and try to get the surround on the SCV. Goes for it. Not click to the minerals, but he's going to get almost all the health on it. He should be able to chase that guy and get it. There we go. 
Uh, no link speed yet. In fact, it looks like we're just waiting on gas to see. Now, will he morph the lair in the main? Probably, yes, indeed. And it's going to be a little while before Piano has any sort of information about just what Hero is doing. And the Zergling's now coming up around here, taking a look. But they will not try to run in there with that bunker. Got four Marines in the bunker, plus two there. Nice tight thing, no link speed, no way to run around link speed. Of course being researched, second gas being taken. So very normal looking stuff here. Plus one starting for Piano. Academy about to finish. These Lings are thinking about this SCV. Perfectly positioned here for Oregon. Just to be a little bit disrupted if disruptive if the Lings were to uh, run by and possibly going to make a building, but I doubt it. I doubt he's going to put a depot out there. I think he just wants to try to maybe get out and scout. He's hoping that these Lings won't block him. There we go. That's what he was looking for, and he gets the juke off, so he's going to get out on the map, but will he scout Hero? It's going to be questionable. Uh, Hero's going to throw down two creep colonies, actually, which means that he is definitely leery that Piano is holding something back here and worried about this pressure. Now, Piano coming out with the one medic, so he is going to need a couple of these sunkens, but two will be more than sufficient. Overlord's going to see this force. Remember, it is only one racks of units, so it's not a terrifying army here from Piano by any stretch of the imagination. Spire goes down, and the downside here for Hero is he's only about 30 supply. He would like to be closer to 35 right now. It's going to make it a little bit difficult to make a full complement of Muta right away. Uh, and it'll also probably, he'll probably have to pause Muta if he wants to get super fast Lurker Tech, or he'll have to delay his Lurker Tech and or his third base just a little bit. The gas will be okay. It'll be more an issue of the minerals. He should have taken his gases at relatively normal timing. And Hero thinking about going for a run by here, but Piano more than ready. We can see now we've got all four racks and the fifth one, of course, floating over here. A third sunken ready to go. Uh, Spire on the way. And just loading on up. We've got our commsats coming down. And yeah. Looking quite solid here. I mean, I think Piano's pretty comfortable with where he's at. He's going to be out on the map with, uh, you know, the usual group and a half of medics, or group and a half of marines, and, and four medics before the Muta spawn. That's, that's a good position for Terran. That makes it very easy to deny the third base. It's kind of one of these situations where if the Muta pop and get to your base before you're out on the map, you sort of have to stay back and harass, or defend harass. But if the Muta are not on the map in time and you can get out, then if the Muta ignore you, you just lose your third base and you can just add some turrets and defend the harass. So it's pretty nice when Terran can get already out on the map. Uh, we see the turrets going up right now for Piano as he has scanned. And that is pretty much the rule of thumb. The turrets need to start right about the second the meter are popping. If you want to be really safe, you can just start making the turrets the second the meter are in the eggs. But you'll see that this turret timing will be almost perfect. Started them right there, and they'll be finishing. And that's very close, of course, by air. And so now that the meter are out, uh, Piano not quite across the bridges here. So Hero can do some good work on the bridges and already some very nice micro here, picking off three or four Marines and just looking for those spots there where the Marines are a little bit further out from their group or in small numbers. When they're all clumped up like this, it's tough for the meter to go in. But when one wanders, that's where you can kind of come in there and pick them off one by one. And Hero hatching a few more meter should have some Lurker on the way. Getting the Queen's Nest, third base going up here for Hero. So everything looking all right so far. And do we have Hydra? We've got Hydra going all the way over to the base. Uh, and Lurker is quite close to finishing here. So should be in good shape for Hero. And we've got a few Marines going to try to join up here. This is always a nice moment if Hero can stop them from joining up. But I don't think he actually has enough. So Hero's going to have, or Piano's going to have a massive Marine Medic Force here out on the map. Nice pickoffs though. Piano getting a little bit sloppy there. Not quite paying attention. Hero getting four or five Marines almost for free. But these Hydra are coming over to the ramp. This is going to be devilishly close right here. If there was a third one uh, back up here, then I'd say we'd probably, probably be fine. But... Um, Piano's going to be able to get down here and get a nice wide spread on these Muta. Now, I think with the Muta of Hero still around back here, they're going to be able to threaten enough that if even if Piano runs in, the Lurkers will be able to burrow. And if he, Piano commits to targeting the Lurkers down, 
then the hero can just fly over with the Muta and Lings and probably get enough of the Marines down. But it's going to be close. The Lurker about to finish now. It looks like the Burrow is going to go down here. One Lurker, though. Oh, Piano's not able to hit. So it will be secured. And actually, in the end, Piano's going to end up losing the entire group. So that goes well for Hero. And he is going to more or less secure his third base for the time being. Of course, uh, behind this, we've got the two starports going up. Not a super fast two starports, though. And a six barracks. And now Piano definitely playing from behind the eight ball. Uh, he's not going to really have any vessel timings. Hero has gone pretty quickly to his hive. Uh, actually, not as quickly as I thought, though. So Hero's on his way to hive. And Piano is no vessels right now. He's obviously skipping tanks. Now, Piano a lot of times will go straight into two dropships. So we'll see if he does that here. But that's a very Piano thing to do. And just go straight into the double drop harass here with all these groups. But he can't do anything against this base. Uh, or realistically, this base with just Marine Medic with those Lurkers out. Here's a nice little find for Hero. So things continuing to go Hero's way. He finds another small group of Marine and Medic. I mean, that's another control group that goes down. And we can see the supply now for Hero almost equal to that of Piano, which if you are a Terran player, you do not like it when Zerg is the same supply as you, especially when they're at a position in the game where they've already got that third base up and secured. Just never a good look. Science Facility on the way. Indeed, the double drops here from piano now we're gonna have a little bit more pressure here on the bottom base uh, but i don't really think piano is gonna have any way to break it if there was a vessel he could try a cute move where he dematrixes the marine runs up the ramp uh, and all the liquor shots go at that one and then the others get up and spread but without a vessel that's not an option and we're gonna have a counter attack here from hero now piano's out and forward but that's a lot of muta just immediately trying to camp them got to run back Go into the bunker, and let's see what Hero can do with this counterattack. It's definitely got a Lurker in range of some SCVs. The bunker will certainly fall. Muta moving back probably wisely of the turret. The bunker is down, but only two Lurkers less. SCVs are being forced to pull off the line here to fight the Lurkers, but it's reasonably well handled, all things considered, by Piano, and Hero losing quite a lot of supply in that moment. But on the other hand, it pretty much took care of all of Piano's Marines and Medics, so he can't really load up... Uh, a particularly full double drop. You can see he's got a skimp on that, and he's taking away every bit of defense. So this is a pretty interesting decision here for this counterattack, especially if these dropships get spotted. But you gotta remember, Hero has almost no units back at home, but so that is gonna bring his Marine Medic group back here to defend, and Hero just nicely zoning here, continuing to pick stuff off and threaten, but the supply did go back up rather quickly for Organ after that counterattack for Piano, or for, for Hero. Lost a lot of Muta in that attack, and while he did kill a group, it wasn't a ton. That bunker stayed alive for a very long time. A few overlords are going to die here, but they are spotting for these dropships. And I think Hero should be aware of this. Lurker's nicely positioned at the bridge, but we're just waiting on those drops. Now there's four pairs of Scourge here, but what Hero wants to do is escort the drops all the way, being forced back. Now I think Hero's seen those dropships. They've flown close enough to the Lurkers that he should be able to see them. Meanwhile, in production, we are vessels, but then another set of dropships, typical piano style, trying to get in with the dropships, but Hero's got Scourge coming over, but none of the Scourge can connect, and now the Muta have to come in and try to deny the dropship with the Muta, but that is not going to happen. Piano's left a few out here. The last Muta of Hero are going to fall, and it looks like this drop will get some mileage here for Piano. Will it be devastating, though, is the question we are watching for here. Defiler Den is not done with Consume. If you were to target this, okay, but there's not going to be enough time with four Lurkers coming back here, and there's already some burrowed over here, so that looks like it'll shut down the majority of the drop but will he get the snipe on this no he won't so that should zone out and take care of this drop so crisis averted here but the defiler den is in trouble lurkers now moving in and that should be the last of those marines yes those do fall quite comfortably and now we've got a nice drone transfer over here to this third base gas up and mining uh, as obviously it has been for a while. I mean, that's the main reason you take that third base. And things looking still quite scary for Piano here. He's going to be really dependent on hitting the money drop at some point. Now, he has started a third base, so that's good for him. But, you know, any situation where the Zerg is basically just allowed to get their third and go into their fourth is very comfortable. We see Hero coming back, picking off one of those drop ships, And we saw that he was researching plague so it won't be long here until he has uh plague out here as well to start dealing with a few of these groups now we have two vessels over here and just two lurkers so those can be irradiated and the nidus canal is done but what is at the ready there well there is a defiler here 
but he doesn't have any more lurkers here. He's going to have to pull lurkers from his main. He's going to have to react pretty fast and actually does go for the D-Matrix trick. Funny I talked about that, and then he happens to use it. I thought he was just going to radiate those two, but Marine's now in the base now. This will give time for the Defiler, but without lurkers, it'll be a little bit hard to get rid of all these Marines. The gas is already down, so that's good kill. Drones are falling here, and lots of damage potential for Piano right now. And you see, this is kind of classic Piano. He's just going to run around here. He's not going to care that there's Dark Swarms. He will just run around everywhere he can and harass splitting up splitting up those marines and medics a little bit coming in here trying to get the vessel vessel will fall group split on two sides nice plagues going down for hero to help clean this up now unfortunately piano doesn't appear to have another set of dropships coming in for his classic one two punch get into one base drop the other and he goes for one of the classic kamikaze run bys here will he go for the nidus canal he could possibly swing around i guess he's out of scan is he out of scan because we're not seeing him do anything about these lurkers it's like he can't okay we do see a scan go down but with no medic healing, I don't know if they'll actually be able to take out any of those lurkers. And this will get cleaned up, but now a little bit of pressure at the front here. Mostly designed to distract, and we have... Is that a triple drop? That is a triple drop. He might even pick up some of these fire bats as he goes. Nope, doesn't matter. Scourge are coming in, though. One dropship winks out, but the next two dropships are put going down there is a ling here harassing the third base but not as important as what is going down with this drop here but lots of lings here from hero and a few lurkers coming back as well and it looks like that's being held off pretty comfortably here by hero not cracking to the pressure of piano's drops having those units in the right position quick enough but piano is establishing a third base here and he is going to expand quickly to a fourth. Knows his time on two bases is running out. Very committed to that bio turn. More dropships being made in classic piano fashion. And we are actually going to have a sneaker sneak base over there at the top left-hand corner that piano is going to attempt. And meanwhile, drops going down here. But we see the hatchery clusters beginning to go for hero. The only thing hero hasn't done at this point is taken a third base. Uh, a lot of times Zerg will, or taken a fourth base. A lot of times Zerg will opt to do that a bit faster. But uh, piano's harass has been enough to keep hero at least pinned back and or the threat of that has been enough to do so and we've got a few links here just going to pick off a few of the stray units in the map will they see the dropship yes they will now are the, is there a pair of skir oh look at that already moving into place knows this is out there good paying attention we're gonna have a few links running in here here are more than ready for this if there's not a defiler with them and, and there is not and the fire bats running around here we got lurkers chasing fire bats can they barbecue a few drones i mean he is doing a pretty decent job denying some gas mining of hero over at this base so that is good for piano uh and the supply is still quite high for piano but it looks like the lurkers have finally gotten bird but look at piano just microing the living daylights out of these fire bats now the scourger here where did the dropship go i don't know um, I lost sight of it. The Scourge were obviously sent to intercept the dropship, but where the dropship actually went, I have no idea. This command center about to finish. This command center's done. So Piano is going to try to secure a few more bases. Uh, he's actually expanding really, really fast, which is tends to be more of a mech thing where you can control the map a little better with mines. With Bio, there's a little bit of a risk if you just expand too much that you can't defend all your locations and Zerg just starts streaming small groups in everywhere and gets really, really efficient with that. So that could be a risk for Piano, but obviously going to have a lot of minerals and soon to be some gas, so these racks are just going to be pumping away like crazy. we got Dark Swarm at the front here, turns away this group, and this is classic SK Bio Terran here. Um, but, of course, Piano's gone heavily for dropships, so that means the vessel count is very, very low. Nothing like what you'd normally expect. Pretty sloppy vessels here, unless he really wants the pre-irradiate, but this is risky. If Hero sees this, obviously these can be easily sniped, and Hero, oh, it just doesn't quite, Scourge don't have quite the vision. He actually can't see this yet. So the vessels are going to be escorted in here safely. And SK Terran is a classic thing. Uh, one of the classic things to watch when the Terran is playing this style, you can literally tell how good a Terran is simply from how much their bio moves around the map. A top-level Terran, the bio just never stops moving ever. And as the levels go down, there's more and more pauses, but it's constant pressure and a nice vessel snipe there from Hero. But Piano expanding behind this in the meanwhile, being forced back to Filers out to threaten. No plagues going down, but the fourth base now going up for Hero. And obviously Hero is really starting to eco up. There's probably an Ultra Den coming up. Yeah, we're getting uh, that Ultra Armor, so we're not all that far off of the Ultra Switch here. And a little bit of Battle Cruiser harass back here from Piano. Really not committing to the vessels at all. And, yeah, okay, so we're hitting that point, though, where Hero has never really gotten a massive gas bank. So he's going to start to mine dry at both of these geysers. And then it's all about securing that fourth geyser. But anytime Zerg is on four gas, that's a ton of ultras, and it's very scary for Terran. 
But if Terran can prevent Zerg from getting that fifth gas and then basically forcing the Terran off gases, oh, look at this, all the Scourge are going for the Battlecruiser. But more annoying than that, we have a triple drop here. There's a pair of Scourge, but Hero doesn't seem to know about it. Drop is going off a few in the natural, mostly going for the main. Lots of Scourge moving in, but Piano's too slow to react, and that is a bit of a blunder. He got a lot of fire bats down, but couldn't get everything else. He is going to barbecue the Spire, though. And now Piano looking to attack the front, and there's not a Lurker in position. And suddenly Piano on four bases with the drop, harassing the main. Lots of stuff going on here. It's rare to see a pro game that looks like this, but there's just too much action, even for these superhuman players to come up with. A Swarm is being thrown down. He does come up with a Lurker at a pretty critical moment. Is there an Irradiate? No, there is not. But uh, it looks like Piano, this is Kamikaze Terran. Piano doesn't care about no lurkers, man. He's just going to attack with his group of Marines and Medics. It doesn't matter. But the Plague is going to do enough to weaken that. And Piano's trying to keep that vessel alive. Can't do it. Defiler's still here. So for the moment, uh, Hero is fine. But man, now starting to hurt on the Eco. He's actually starting to mine out both of these bases. Still mining these gases. Doing a good job keeping the drones going there. And we should have some Ultra in production here fairly shortly. There's enough gas to get out at least a few ultra speed about to finish, and that should trigger some production of those bad boys. I'm looking for them. Yeah, we've got a few ultras starting to pop out here, and the question is, will those be able to turn the tide here? Piano definitely making his way back in. More drops, but Hero's hitting pretty good Scourge, and so only a few medics or marines are going to get down here so not that many drone kills a good dark swarm to protect all that so this is a good moment here and hero either by chance or by luck i did not know during all that action maybe he spotted this if he didn't though this is pretty smart because he's going to be able to shut well maybe not. Nice. Maybe he's not going to be able to shut this down so i don't think he knew about this because of the way these lanes just ran in here uh and so now he's going to be like oh damn that is not what i wanted um so we got piano on five bases here but not tons of units but he's got he's got bunkers i mean he's got defensive units at every base which is definitely good for him and i don't know what a few of these guys are doing well they're trying to distract for yet another double drop classic piano style hero's very out of position here though now there is a lurker bird in the mineral line to help with but this is going to be a full unload here and this is going to mean that the ultra tech can be targeted down and indeed piano appears to be focusing that so ultra tech falls here for hero now he's got a few ultra out on the map and that will help clean it up. Looking at the upgrades, though, very well upgraded, honestly, for both sides. But no upgrade advantages here that are going to make the Ultralist stupid strong. And we're going to have a small harass on this base, but Piano appears to be ready for it. And the double drop ship's returning right now. But Hero gets a moment to kind of stabilize and eco up this game far from over. Dark Swarm goes down. Lurker going underneath here. And it is down. And But there's a fire bat in that bunker, right? Yeah, I guess it's just out of range, though. So that's a fortunate burrow for him that is just out of range. And uh, suddenly a group of Marine Medic gets in here, and they're going to find a few of the spawning drones. It looks like Hero's a little more focused, probably over on the top side of the map here. But he's got Lurkers in good enough positions here. Even though it doesn't look really well defended, these Lurker Spines are just barely hitting where they need to. So it is enough, and then with a Swarm, is going to hold that group off. And now we have a, a Ultra Defiler Lurker group. I mean, that's a scary army to be in the middle of the map here. And it, we're going to see now if Piano can hold on to his bases. This is the danger of that kind of harass. Now this Defiler's out, but it's cleaned up the bunker, so this base has its gates down, and this Defiler's moving forward, but Hero, or Pano, anticipates it and also moves forward, and it, well, he hasn't been able to kill the Defiler, but the Defiler's gonna need to consume again. Actually, the fact that this swarm gets down, though, brings the Lurkers basically into range of the third base, so this defense is gonna get tough. Piano is gonna need to find some units. Surprisingly, a tank coming out. I don't know if that means a mech switch or what's going on here, but five Ultra attacking this base, and a huge group of Lings and Swarms in here, and will there be enough to hold on SCVs fighting Ultra? Well, that's not a good look for those SCVs. They're not going to be able to do that. Their damage more than insufficient. These Lings coming in here, but the Fire Bats are ready to roast, but no Medic to heal them. So the Lings are going to surround them, and suddenly the supply of Piano is just plummeting, and all his bases are under fire. Is Hero just going to be able to stream enough units and try to break the main? That appears to be Hero's plan, getting the Science Facility as well. But at the same time, the drop going off for Piano in the main, cleaning up many of Hero's production structures, but the Ultras in the main, killing all the spawning units. This game is suddenly all over the place, and it looks like um, Piano a little too busy here to micro this forward. Ultras are trying to get this, but these guys are completely insulated here. The Ultras cannot fit between, so two Marines trying to go Hero mode here and take down these Ultra. Honestly, Organ just needs to like concentrate them all inside the barracks until some links can get up here, but there are still links ravaging the natural. All these unusable dropships, a flood of links coming in here. The Ultra is still killing SCVs, can also be split over to this base, and now we have a Defiler Lurker group, and this is what I mean by if you have too many bases, it's almost a little too much surface area to defend, and Piano spending all that on drops. It was doing a lot of damage, but it looks like Hero is finding the weak point here. Now, he's going to eventually stop breaking the main, but 
all of Piano's mining now is vanishing. Of course, Hero is mined out from two bases, but these Lurkers here now under the mineral line have been escorted there. This base is still mining, but very vulnerable. Not many units at all, but now the Ultras are cleaned out, and we have loaded up. Actually, what the hell is this? I have no idea what the fuck this is. Is this a fake drop? Is he just going to try to get Hero to pull units off his back? Because he's scared? Because, like, let's face it. I mean, it, you see four dropships. It looks scary. All right, so a few links do get in here. Most of them being cleaned out by those two Marines. Is he just trying to distract for an eraser? I don't know. But it looks like all two of those dropships have been scourged. And the this is probably intended to be eraser, but he doesn't really have enough energy to do an eraser. He can eraser one, but not two. Dropships headed home. But this base being cleaned up here, so the hidden base is done and dealt with. And if we look at the supplies, that looks ominous. And here comes three Ultra, but, well, there's a Defiler here, though. That is really ominous. Uh, more than the Ultra are actually going to be enough to clean it up. And not that many units. There's just not enough mining right now here for Piano. This base absolutely just needs to be lifted and evacuated. But no answer to that. A few Scourge just patrolling around here. And now we have Ultras running into the natural. And it looks like Piano has just about been overrun. All of his mining being shut down. This is the only base that's not being shut down. But these Ultra are pummeling in the front. It's a shame Hero doesn't recognize that he has this Defiler here. He could throw a Swarm up here and just flood some blings. But GG is called. And Hero managed to, re managed to reverse a game that was going rather south for him.